I'm a cattle man. I raise grass, finish beef. I uh, would do some some grain farming with my one of my sons. Um, we're in the pheasant hunting business, um, so uh, we're a fairly diverse uh, operation. The first no-till, I believe, we planted some winter wheat in the fall of 1982, and by '86 we were pretty much full no-till. We probably plant 20% of our acre, croppable acres uh, to a full season cover crop every year. My third-legged stool is, and, and probably the first time I referenced it that I can remember was at a NACD convention. And there was 15, 20 of us sitting around the table and talking. And one guy said, nobody knows what soil health is. And when it got to be my turn, I said, I thought I did. I said, I don't know everything there is to know, but I think I believe that infiltration, organic matter, and biology, if you can keep improving those, you're gonna get healthier soil. We're supposed to pull carbon out of the air, and I believe we're doing it. That increases organic matter. If you've got more organic matter, that will improve your infiltration. And uh, biology, <clears throat> we'll take that organic matter and make it available as plant food. If you have livestock, it's relatively easy to do all that. I have organic matter in the upper 5% where I can feed cattle. My neighbors that fly around and dig holes in the ground, and the wildlife neighbors are still here. I didn't drive them out. We're, we're sharing, and I think that's important. I have a grandson that says he was born to farm and I intend to see to it he has an opportunity with some quality land.